कमांडर तीन एस ओ तैतीस सर्किट गार्ड प्लेन आपका निरीक्षण के लिए हाजिर है श्रीमद गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार वनकम माय ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन दिस सेवेंटी फोर्थ रिपब्लिक डे दैट वी आर ऑल सेलिब्रेटिंग आई थिंक टू थ्री डेज बैक व्हेन वी वर हैविंग आवर प्रोग्राम ऑन जी ट्वेंटी आई रिपीटेड the same thing which i'm going to do now and i have repeated it earlier also that why do we celebrate this year after year when we fully know what is it and what sanctity it holds in the heart of everybody well we do that to remind ourselves that we all be committed to the occasion which we celebrate we had g20 presidency celebrated few days back we celebrate all our festivals together and we in the same fervor with same zeal we also celebrate our republic day and uh, independence day to remind ourselves that we are all duty bound to serve our nation with utmost dedication utmost sincerity and utmost uh, uh, sense of duty to our nation Republic Day, as we know, is the day when our constitution came into effect. And I have last year and year before last, and every year I have been repeating that our uh, constitution we owe it greatly to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Baba Sahib Ambedkar, as we respectfully call him. Uh, we great owe greatly to him, and this is one of those rare constitutions where we had studied. practically all the wonderful well tried out constitutions at that time we carried out a thorough study and then our constitution was evolved and when it was evolved and when it was when it came into practice we never said it is going to be the final law it is going to be the final rule we said as for the need we will amend this and you have seen over the years that we have uh, done several amendments i think 104th was done few years back 105th also so it's an evolving constitution and that is the height and that is the best part of our constitution as per the requirement we keep on adding the laws into this if you all remember till about early 90s we never had any law pertaining to environment we were not very respectful to our environment and 90s onwards people started thinking about it our uh, great constitutional experts our environmental experts our scientists they started giving due attention to this and many of these also came into constitution laws related to uh, 
forest protection, laws related to environment, laws related to uh, rivers, laws related to construction in higher reaches, all these came into effect. And that is the best part which we all not only need to celebrate, we all need to put our head in respect, in reverence to our constitution. And that is the reason we celebrate year after year, wherein it is a reminder to all of us that we need to follow it in letter and spirit in the best possible manner that we can. Now, when we look at it, I was pondering over that what is it that can be conveyed to my young friends who are here, who are showing great enthusiasm towards the respect for this day. I, I, I thought two things are very important. One, this is an occasion where I suppose I need to salute each and every voter of our country right from day one. And this is what we need to be proud of, that ours is one nation where on 16th August 1947, we had no right, no voting right, no right of a citizen. And 15th August 1947, when our tricolor went up on the uh, portal of uh, Red Fort, we all became voter. We all got all those rights which other countrymen from other nations were proud of, that ours is a great nation. We also stood up there and we said, well, ours is also a nation. We also have all the rights. But the best part was, we all got equal rights. We never distinguished that so-and-so is a male, so-and-so is a female, so-and-so is a kid, so-and-so is not a graduate, so-and-so is a master degree holder. We said equal rights for every, every citizen from day one. And we all started voting. We all started thinking about what our nation requires. We all started working towards the progress of this. And this has resulted in where we are from 47 to now. Name an area, infrastructure, health sectors, education, uh, defense, foreign policies, Name an area, what a remarkable work we have done. And do you think it has been done by, by an individual? It is not. It is a collective effort of every citizen of our uh, nation, every voter of our nation. Because a voter is one who has been, who has been time and again exercising this right of his and electing a government which is working for the welfare of our country. So the first thing I thought when I was thinking about the importance of uh, this day, I thought the one person who needs to be respected is our voter. Every citizen of our country is a voter. And two, days back, two years back, if you remember, I said we all appreciate our nation builders. There I said, every individual of our country is a nation builder. Every citizen, be he a defense personnel, or a civil personnel, or a health official, or a house, uh, uh, housewife, or a lady who looks after our house, or our ancestors, anybody for that matter, is a nation builder. As long as you do your duty with absolute sincerity. You are a nation builder. This is what I said two years back, and I am reiterating that, that we are all nation builders if we do our work with absolute sincerity. So this was one I thought I would put it to salute every voter. And second, a message to our young minds, youngsters, who should be proud of our constitution, who should be proud of our nation, as I said, all sectors, if you look at, we have done exceedingly well. You compare ourselves with any other nation in the world. I am putting it as a challenge. Compare ourselves with any other nation in the world. You will find that we have done a remarkably well, considering the kind of problems that our nation faced when we got independent. 
we, when we became independent on uh, 15th August 1947, ours was the only nation in the world which had very diverse set of problems. No other country had this, this kind of diversification, this kind of problems. But we have overcome all those. We are now a one strong nation. We have so many languages, so many conventions, so many eating habits, different kinds of dresses we wear, different kinds of weather we have, different kinds of uh, arena we have. But we are a strong one nation because we have all worked for it. <coughs> and since you have done that well, it is our cardinal duty that we all continue to do our most sincere work so that the country progresses in the right direction. Now the message to my young ones who are here is that please remember you are youth, you are full of energy, you have a lot of power, you can do anything you feel like, therefore that anything you feel like should be utilized towards constructive ideas, towards constructive development of our institutions, wherever we are, be it education, be it uh, police, be it military, be it any other area that you are working in. I just want to tell them that if you fall sick, you can recover by taking medicines. If you lose money, you can recover by putting in extra amount of work. So much so that anything that is lost in the world can be recovered. One thing which cannot come back to you is time. And this is what I want to uh, remind our young ones. It's a strong reminder I wish to give it to them that once this time is lost, it will be lost forever. Then you will have nothing else but to repent, but to feel sad that we should have done this, we could have done it, we never did it. We never did it because nobody advised us. And this is one cardinal message, philosophy, thinking, whatever way you take it, if you keep that in mind, you will never look back in life. You will be a good, true nation builder, which we all uh, wish to be. You will be a wonderful citizen of our country. You will achieve whatever you want to. You will start doing whatever you wish to. But if this is lost in, in uh, let me put it straight, for, straight away, in uh, activities which are not meant for you. You should have democratic values in your hearts. You should have respect for the constitution. You should have respect for elders. You should have respect for your teachers. If these are the qualities you can keep, respect for Almighty would automatically come in. What is Almighty? Our parents are Almighty. What is Almighty? Our teachers are Almighty. If that is what you can keep in mind, and uh, what is Prayer to Almighty. Prayer to Almighty is when we do our work with absolute sincerity. If I am in my office and I am putting in my best, that is my prayer to Almighty. Therefore, my young friends, my students, don't think that if you don't get time to go to the temple or church or Gurdwara or wherever, as long as you do your work with absolute sincerity, that is worship. That is, that is a way to please Almighty. And if we all do that collectively, I think our nation is in for an absolutely right kind of uh, movement in the correct direction for which the whole world is looking to us. Finally, I would talk about G20, which we just celebrated three, four days back. We have taken over the reins of G20 this year. By rotation, we have become the president of this group. You will say, what is so great about it every year? Last year somebody was there, next is go it's going to be Brazil. So turn by turn everybody gets a chance. We have also got it. My dear friends, we have got it at a time when the world is passing through a very critical phase. We have taken over the presidency of this group when our country has become a strong nation. When, has, when, our, con when our country has done remarkably well in all sectors. And if you are powerful, if you are strong, if you are working in the right direction, your voice will be heard. And our country now is in a position where we can force our policies to the world. What are our policies? It is of peaceful existence, cooperation, 
working together for the well-being of humanity at large and Vasudev Kutumbakam, world is one family. That is the philosophy we hold and this philosophy leads us to a direction where we have a mutual respect for one another. And now with our country taking over G20 presidency, wherein we'll force these ideas on the world that we believe in Vasudev Kutumbakam, we believe in one world, one family. If we can put this message across, you will find a world will be a better place to live in. There won't be any wars, there won't be any conflicts. And our group of 20, G20, where now we are heading, if we put this, these ideas, if these policies are enshrined all over, you will find that it will be a force to reckon with in the entire world. UNO, if you look at it, our voice, our voice, voice of G20 would be heard. And if that is heard, that is where the world is all looking up to. And this is one important year where India is advising, showing the world what is right. And that right is one nation, one family, peaceful coexistence, sense of cooperation, sense of respect for one another. And this is what we are, we are I, I can use the word, we are preaching to the world. And if we do that, and if other nations follow, which they will, I am sure, because we do not have any policy of conflict, it will go a long way. And if that is done, our celebration of this great day, paying respect to tricolor, paying respect to our constitution, would be achieving its objective. If we do this year after year, we will be achieving our two objectives that I said, saluting our tricolor constitution and saluting each and every voter which has brought our country to a situation, to a place where the whole world is looking up to us for guidance. And I'm sure we'll be doing that as a G20 president also and towards the entire nation. I am delighted that you are all here. This also speaks in volumes about the respect you all have. And these young toddlers who are here in wonderful dresses gives you uh, absolute sense of satisfaction that yes, we are on the right path. If they can show this kind of enthusiasm at young age, such a young age, why can't we be working together wherever we are? So with these words, I congratulate you, congratulate all of you, each one of you, on this 74th Republic Day celebration that we are all uh, gathered here for. And I wish you all the very best, all success in all your endeavors, and may God bless all of us. Uh, thank you so very much. Respect to our nation. Thank you. I'll say Jai Hind. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल वंगा भिंज हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशिष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे